Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 584 and the topic today is, is your New Year's shine wearing off? Before I jump into that and explain, let me start off by introducing myself as usual. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful and high achieving women create balance in love, life and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which has led to these talks happening every day now, starting well over two years ago, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's episode number 584, plenty of these have happened, and the topic today is, is your New Year's shine wearing off? And it's kind of like the, um, the month after you got your new car. Now, admittedly, New Year's was only four days ago, five days was today, today's the sixth, so six days ago we hit the new year yippee <laughs> and i talked about this yesterday about how new year is a time where you can set up your vision for the year and plans for the year and everything else but also how a lot of people just get into new year like it's the same as it was last week no change no difference just getting back on with life and i also took up here this morning which is the first sunday we've been together since the new year so a lot of times we're all saying having a new year to each other but i had a couple of conversations today that reminded me that for a lot of people, and I did suggest them they might check out my program, which I mentioned in a moment, not my program, my uh, playbook, which I mentioned in a moment, is that the fact that a lot, for a lot of people, this new year isn't a great deal of fun. And so I'm using the terminology like, is the new year shine wearing off? Because for a lot of people, as well as the ones that go back to work with it as if nothing happened, they're starting the new year with like, let's get going, let's have fun, let's have a great old time, and have a new vision, and already five days later, they've almost given up. And the challenge is, I say this another way. The behavior, or the default is, that because the first few days of the new year weren't perfect, that weren't the new vision in expression, the tendency is to basically give up and go, oh well, so much for that, next year I'll do it next year. Which is, this, which is a pity, it's a shame, it's sad, it's unfortunate. That's a lot of negative words, I know, but I to say it. Because so many people are caught up in this paradigm that they want it now. And here's the thing, I took yesterday about how, I took actually a few times already this week about how resolutions suck, <laughs> or how resolutions are doomed to fail. And I took about other options and I actually gave four of them in the first two days of this year, including saying of intentions, not resolutions, and other things as well. But the bigger picture is this. If you're setting up New Year's New Year's intentions or New Year's resolutions or New Year's anything, you're planning the whole year, I'd think. It's not the new week's intentions, not the new day's intentions, not the new month's intentions. It's the New Year's intentions. And yet some people have already given up on their goals because it didn't show up in the first three days of the month. First three days of the year, rather. Or first three, three, three days of the month. I would say the word of the day is patience, but it's more than that. It's faith. And this is Sunday, so it should be spiritual, I suppose, so the word faith comes into hand. But my point about this is really that, first of all, if you have set up some good intentions, don't desert them. Stay true to them. Be willing to hold fast that they may still come true still. It's been three days that they will come true in time. If you have a goal that in the next three days you're going to have this manifest, this happen, this result show up, depending how much control you have over that, it may or may not happen. But don't set yourself up for failure by making things impossible. I mentioned before about how resolutions themselves don't work. A lot of times it's because you set up constraints and restrictions about what you can have. And you don't give over to spirit the possibility of making it even better. Yes, I'm getting spiritual on you. The possibilities for the new year, which is only, again, five days old, are infinite. Yes, I'm using the word infinite, as in more than enough. <laughs> and for many people, they don't believe that. And so they contain what's possible in the limitations of what they've already experienced. I've done the same thing myself, so I'm guilty of this too. But I'm getting now more and more the understanding, especially after what happened this past year, good and bad, is that sometimes things happen that are so far outside my frame of reference, I've got to believe things are possible beyond my control. To know that what I'm holding for 
is, in, to quote a book from way back by Ernest Holmes called Open at the Top, that the, the vision I'm holding for is open at the top, meaning that the vision I'm holding for is the minimum of what I'm looking for. The what's possible is even greater than that. And having had that proven to me more than one time this past year, actually quite a few times, where what I was thought was going to happen and what I was holding to happen was smaller than what actually did happen. And what I got was a lot better than I thought it could get. This is the reason why I recommend doing intentions versus resolutions. Because resolutions are, um, in terms of visual, they're basically, they're closed-ended, they're finite, they're limited. In, intentions are open-ended and, and, and upward possibilities are open, uh, upward possibilities are available to what can happen. This is kind of a repeat of what I talked about last week, because of, or this earlier this week, because the reality is it bears repeating <laughs> simply this. If you set up intentions for the new year that are powerful, then give them a chance to fruition. It's like you basically said, okay, I'm going to plant some seeds and I'm going to keep digging up the earth to check on them. Oh, that's an old one from an old, old seminar I took years ago. Trust in the process. Trust in the journey. If you have goals that you're setting up for this year, intentions you want to have results from, things that you want to have manifest, allow your intentions to take root. And allow your intentions to break the surface and to reach for the scar, reach for the stars, reach for the reach for the sun, as plants tend to do. They reach for the sun, sun, not the stars. And so my point about this, well, two points. One of which is, don't give up so soon. If you think the New Year's shine has faded because your goals didn't show up that quickly, take a breath, be more patient, and maybe you want to rewrite your intentions, your goals, even your resolutions, if you will, and stick to those. I don't recommend that, of course. Make them big enough to make sure that they actually can be worth focusing on for the whole year. It may happen in the first month, but be willing to go deeper and have a longer vision. Second thing is, take action towards your intention, your resolution, whichever one you chose, to make them possible, make the possibility of them happening stronger. I happen to have something that will help you with that. <laughs> I talked about this yesterday, because I launched it yesterday, but I'm putting it out there again today. I created, a, I did this last year, but I, I did some massive revisions on it and of course relabeled it as 2019 versus 2018. A, a Rocker 2019 playbook slash workbook. I've got the names, both names in there, so that's my mind not getting clear on which one I want to choose. But what I put together were seven keys, principles, teaching methods, tools, if you will, that will help you take your intention, your vision of what you want and make it much more... Um, structurally supported like a bridge for this year where you want to go i know i'm throwing out so many analogies it's getting a bit like okay planting seeds building bridges <laughs> i hope you're getting my point at least from one of these the the rockier 2019 playbook is really a guide to setting up your vision your intention even your resolutions if you must use those which again i do not recommend use intentions setting your intentions for success because you don't just simply set them an intention and put it away in a book and in the drawer and forget about it you actually do some action steps and it's not just saying let me just reread that every two days or whatever that is i'm suggesting that if you use the principles in my in my workbook which again there's seven of them you'll set up your year for such massive success you've never even dreamed of yes that's possible because you've got to do the work the workbook the workbook playbook whatever i call it playbook because i keep it more fun than the workbook the playbook is designed simply for you to build the vision to create a launch pad for what you want to have re results happen so you've got to do the work but this simply it works if you work it so i'll put the link in the comments if you want it verbally it's on my website which is barryselby.com forward slash rock your 2019 altogether again put the link in the comments if nothing else please take from this reminder suggestion encouragement that you can actually have what you want but be patient the f the new year has just begun and yes this has only been five days six days since the beginning of the year and as my friend deborah said yesterday on her broadcast deborah kagan is a buddy of mine and she talks a lot about the spiritual stuff as well she talks about how because this is a new moon last night and also a partial eclipse a solar eclipse i was corrected i thought it was a lunar eclipse a solar eclipse as well that happened yes yesterday in russia and japan or something this is a perfect weekend to start setting your intention for success. My Rocket 2019 playbook is a great um, guide and tool to help you build build the vision of where you want to go, the vision of where you want to create and manifest this year. 
So my wish for you is, regardless of if you do get my workbook, playbook, as again, I keep the names muddled up, you hold true to the vision you want this year. That if you had set up intentions on January 1st or January 2nd or today, that you hold true to them for the year. And if nothing else, look at them more than once this year. <laughs> Maybe once every couple of days. Because truthfully, your life is in your hands. And it's up to you, yes, sorry, you can't be a victim on this one. It's up to you to make the choice to have life work the way you want it to. Spirit will work with you if you say yes to it. But you've got to be willing to say yes to the work and yes to your vision. If you don't have one, I recommend you start. And with that, I think I'll complete. Again, I'll put the link in the comments for my um, Rocket 2019 playbook because it will work. I guarantee it. Well, I, don't guarantee, I guarantee it will work it if you work it. If you don't work it, I can't guarantee it. Let me be clear about that. I can be careful when I say those words. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is my daily broadcast, by the way. 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. Hi, Reggie. Nice to see you in my broadcast. Thanks for the love. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this at 5 p.m. Pacific time pretty much every day. Sometimes I move them, but it's every day I do these. And I do these on Facebook Live on my personal page first. I think I put in my business page on YouTube and then on my podcast and I'll give you the links so you can find them. So first of all, personal page is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. Make sure you follow me or you book or you get notified. There's a button somewhere around this video. You can no, um, click on it to be notified when I go live, which will be tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time and each day thereafter, at least for now. Replays go onto my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author just see the link oh which playbook you're referring to first time watching well hi Josephine thanks for being broadcast I put the link in the comments but verbally if you want to check it out before I even write it in after I sign off it's my website barryselby.com forward slash rock your 2019 or one word so it's rocket 2019 that's the playbook which I'm referring to it's a seven seven step process to help you build a vision for the year and create the reality you want to have so it's pretty good stuff. I call it a workbook, but I keep calling it a playbook because I want to say it's lighter than a workbook. That's why it's that I mess up the names. So, and I put the link in the comments afterwards. So, per personal page broadcast, replays on my business page, YouTube, YouTube channel, which is my name. All my social media is Barry Selby, by the way, except for my business page. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, which is this playlist. You can check them out and listen to watch them in any order you want, scan through them, find titles that resonate, and you can watch whatever fits for you. Thirdly is my podcast, which I've been loading up slowly, and that's on iTunes, which is also called Messages from the Masculine. Subscribe to that, and you can download the audio versions of these, since you don't have to look at my face or watch my hands waving around. And you can uh, listen to them when you're driving around doing other things, because you can't watch video when you're driving. Never do that. And uh, I think that's it. I appreciate you watching and being with me. And then Josephine, I will put the link in the comments. So you can check it out later if you don't happen to type it in by hand. And I will be back in at 5 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow with some other topic. That'll be number 585. Getting quite a lot of these out there. And uh, that'll be it. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, Reggie. Um, I appreciate you being with me as always. I will see you again tomorrow, um, either live or in the replay. And uh, I hope you take to heart what I said. This may be a life changer for you. This, this year could be your year. I'm hoping, well, not hoping, excuse me. I'm planning on it being a life changer for many of us, including myself, which is why I'm putting out the playbook. Um, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.